My name is Vance Dillon, uh, also known online as Sonic. Uh, I'm in charge of the audio for the Iron Grip, the Oppression mod for Half-Life 2. And what we've been working on so far has been, uh, since March we have been doing tons of recording. So we've been going out, uh, recording construction sites, real world sounds, walking uh, in different environments and textures and, and uh, things like that and just recording a lot of audio and now we're spending we've been spending the last um, three months massaging all that audio and um, getting it ready to pass off to the programmers to put in game I think what makes Iron Grip different uh, sonic wise is going to be the amount of time and effort that went into uh, doing the sound design for the mod um, a lot of mods don't have experienced sound guys or they'll just take um, the stock sounds and, and, and modify those a little bit or, or, or not even at all or worse yet um, sadly what they'll do is take sounds from movies like Saving Private Ryan and stuff like that and they'll use weapon sounds and, and stuff like that, ambient sounds and uh, put those right in game and so there's not a whole lot of thought to that and it's that's illegal so we don't want to do that but um, so having so much work put into it and starting from scratch um, really uh, enables us to kind of have free reign and do what we want and um, to have a lot of fun doing it well we started off last spring uh, I got involved in March and immediately afterwards went out and started recording so um, went out and started recording uh, cityscapes and started recording construction sites getting uh, on the hunt for a tank um, looking for uh, some vehicles and construction vehicles and stuff like that so we went out and did a, quite a bit of recording of that um, we went and did a recording shoot of uh, uh, recording weapons which was pretty fun uh, we went out and and rented a range for uh, a day and had a friend of mine with uh, lots of weapons and spent the day uh, hanging about and just shooting and recording. It was just a ton of fun. Well, even as far as the uh, music goes for the mod, uh, we're taking it to its farthest limits that we can. Christian Picard is taking the helm as far as writing and composing and, and uh, recording all the soundtracks for the game. And uh, it's being mixed and mastered professionally uh, as if it were any other soundtrack to a movie or a professional game and being, you know, mastered like it was a CD. You know, there's no, no difference. We're taking it to... Um, proper channels and as far as it can go. I mean, instead of just, you know, uh, recording something and then uh, just throwing it in the game and seeing how it sounds. We want to make sure that it's big, it's loud, it's full. Um, so we want to make sure that all that stuff is, uh, all those details are taken care of. So we're doing it properly. We have had to do some interesting things um, for the game almost on a daily basis to try to get the sounds that we want. I mean, you kind of have to go through the design docs and talk with the uh, with the group and find out exactly what audio is is uh, requested or or asked for uh, in the game and you you get a chance to walk through the game and, and see exactly uh, what you think you need and then you just go about to recreating it. I mean, we've done um, a whole day where we just had um, watermelons and uh, we we're just like chopping them open and and stabbing at them and recording them and bashing them and and you know trying to get icky sounds like uh, um, just pouring water a little bit of water into it and stabbing at it and, and things you know just small stuff like that so you know footsteps and and uh, all kinds of crazy things and you have to do sometimes to get uh, to get a sound sometimes it's very simple I mean I was on a trip from um, Prince Edward Island neighboring province to here uh, on a ferry and um, was able to add, you know talk to the captain and he gave me uh, just I just told him hey look you know I do sound design for games and wouldn't mind doing some recording and he said hey well come with me so he took me down to the engine room and so I got 
really good huge turbo diesel engines um, recorded got the ambience of the bridge ambience of all these different decks and inaccessible places the public can't go to and I found that you know even though a lot of the recording that I've been doing has been of the gorilla style where you just kind of run in and get your recording and your samples and stuff like that and hopefully nobody kicks you out of the construction site or the cops don't come or something crazy like that but um, you know everybody's really receptive it's like hey you know I'm recording sound for a video game and, and kids are like oh or people are like oh my you know my kids play a game so hey cool it's you know it's it's all in good fun I think that the extra steps and efforts that we're putting into the Iron Grip mod is going to make for a better experience for the player um, it's a total modification and if the audio and other departments aren't up to the same specs um, as the game calls for then it's not really a full modification it's you know just cheesy changes so we basically are replacing every sound that's there with with new sound and custom sound and so it's it's going to make uh, a really fun time for the player and with the Half-Life 2 engine uh, controlling the 3D audio and stuff like that it's it's going to be immersive and it's going to be big and it's going to be scary and it's going to be fun so it's going to add to the experience